Okay, so we are on 3.4, which is transformations of functions. So let's take a look at these transformations. Even functions. Basically what we're saying is if you plug in a negative value and you still get what you started with out, same thing, then your function's going to be even. So when you plug in a negative for x, if you get the same thing you start with, then it's going to be even. An odd function is that you plug in a negative, but you end up getting a negative answer, then you're going to also end up <coughs> with an odd function. Positives are now negatives, and negatives are now positive, basically, is what that means. Opposites is what we're talking about there, opposites. So with example one, determine whether it's even, odd, or neither. What that means is you plug a negative in for x. So a negative to the fourth power, negative means that's four negatives there. So four negatives. So if you have an even number of negatives, it's going to stay even. That is an even number. So if there's an even number of negatives, which means, and I split it all out so you can see how it all is, um, all of those become positive. Even those become positive. So when you push them together and you push them together, you end up getting the same thing you started with. And because it's the same thing you started with, you can say, hey, it's even. However, down here, right, plug in a negative. So if you plug in a negative, that's five of those. So one, two, three, four, five, because it's odd, you're going to have a negative now out in front. And just cancel out all the even ones because they're pairs. Cancel out those even ones because they're pairs. So for those, that's negative. That is now positive. That is now negative. So, what did you we end up getting that because it's the opposite of what you started with. That was positive, now it's negative. That was positive, or negative, now it's positive. That was um, negative, uh, now it's positive. So the point that I'm getting at is it's odd. Um, this one, plug in a negative. That means I have a negative left, and that is positive. So... What we get here is that one switch, but that one stay the same. They all need to stay the same, or they all need to switch. If you have something different with each one, each one did something different, that means it's going to be um, neither, because the values did not stay the same, and each value did not change and become the opposite. So it is neither, for example, one. All right, going the right way for a smack bottom. Vertical shifting on a graph. Here's what happens. Uh, f of x plus c, so a number on the outside. If it's positive, the graph shifts up. And if it's negative, the graph shifts down. Okay, so like this, you take the graph of x squared and you'd move it up to every single point goes up to. Okay, with this, x squared minus 2, that means every single point on the graph moves down to of the regular graph x squared. So, here we go. I have x squared plus 4 already graphed for you. Here's x squared. x squared is already graphed for you. Plus 4 means you take every single point, and I do what? I move them all up 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Move it up 4. There it is. Move this up 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Move this up 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Move this up 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. And move this up 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. There's my new graph. If I had x squared minus 4, this means I move every single point down 4. So 1, 2, 3, 4 moves down. Moves down 4. Moves down 4. Moves down 4. And moves down 4. And I connect them. And there is my new graph. Space. Horizontal shift. Okay, it's inside the parentheses there. Shifts to the right on the x. So. Think of it as opposites. It'll tell you which direction to move. The opposite of that's negative, so negative moves to the left. The opposite of that is positive, so it moves to the right. So in the x's, you're looking for the number that makes it zero. That's basically all you're doing. Positive 5 makes that zero, or what's the opposite? A 5, so it means I'm moving it to the right 5. Over here, the opposite is negative 5, or what makes that zero is negative 5. That means I'm moving it to the left. Uh, five spots. 
So the regular graph of x squared is graphed, and this is minus 4. So since it's minus 4, um, the opposite of negative 4 is positive 4, meaning I move every single point over 1, 2, 3, 4 spots to the right, 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 4 spots to the right. And there's the graph. Over here, this is x plus 2 squared, so that means the opposite's negative 2, so I move all the points over 2 to the left, 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 to the left. And there is that graph. And in the words of ACDC... And vertical compression is the number multiplied on the outside where C is the number in front of the function. If C is greater than zero, it stretches the graph and makes it thinner and closer together. If it's like a fraction, then it gets wider. I never smile if I can. So x squared. Um, x squared is a common graph, so just remember these points. Right, that's it's this very, very common graph, but once again you could just graph using a graphing calculator. Um, but graph those points and remember them. That's zero zero. That's negative one one. That's one one. That's two four and negative two four. So there's the common graph for you. Hey Bert. So four x squared. Math wise behind it, here's what you do. The math means you multiply the y by c. So I multiply the y's by four. So what that means is 0 times 4 is 0. That's why that stays there. But the graph of 1, 1, 1 times 4, this 1 times 4 is 4. So really, I go over 1 and up 1, 2, 3, 4, and put a point there. And there. It's the same on either side. This is a graph of 2, negative 4. But if I was to do that, um, sorry, 2, 4. 4 times 4 is 16, so it would be 2, 16, which is why it would be like way up here somewhere. And this is 1 fourth x squared. So I take the point 0, 0, and I multiply it. And that's why I still get 0 there. But I multiply the y by the c. 1 times a fourth is a fourth. So there's 0, 0. A fourth is like here. And here, the 2, it's 2, 4, right? Well, 4 times a fourth is 1, so that's actually even down here. So notice in the fraction that it gets wider with the fraction. Skinnier, right? Because that's bigger, and because that's in between 0 and 1, notice how it's wider. Do you want to make more money? So negatives flip it, basically. You take all the points and flip it. So this means you multiply all y's by a negative 1 is basically all that's going to happen. So it's now, instead of negative 1, 1, it's negative 1, negative 1. That's down there. Instead of 1, negative 1, or 1, 1, it's 1, negative 1. Instead of negative 2, um, 2, it's going to be negative 2, negative 4. So, yeah, so... Zero, 0, when you multiply it by a negative, it does nothing, but negative 1, 1 will be negative 1, negative 1. 1, 1 will be 1, negative 1. So basically, you're just taking it and multiplying it by a negative and making it flip over the axis. All right, and we'll finish up here when we come back.